It's been pretty rough, yeah. It's been a real rough year. It's one of the worst I've ever had. I'm uh, George Aaron Leith. Everybody calls me Aaron. I'm 32. I'm from Harlan, Kentucky. I was born and raised here. I've been in the coal mines uh, about five years, I guess. I made uh, anywhere from 900 to $1,200 a week, you know. It was got laid off, I guess it was around, uh, it was around Thanksgiving back last year. And, uh, I had a hard time finding work ever since. I've been divorced about three or four years now. I have a son that's 12 years old. I moved in with my grandparents about a week or two before Thanksgiving. I want to get back out on my own again. That way I can keep my son again and stuff. See, when I lost my job, I had to let my son go back to my mom's house. and you know, So you know, somebody could take care of him, you know, because I couldn't, I couldn't do it at the time. Yeah, you put all that time and effort into your career, and then it's just like you back to where you started from. You know, I had, I used to have a lot of things. I had a home, computers, and vehicles, and I'm down to nothing now. Just about. It. Yeah, I got a security guard job. It's. Well, I'm, it's a little more than minimum wage. It keeps me on my feet, I guess, till I can do better. Uh, yeah, SDKRI, they, they're a pretty good company to work for. Uh, they hire a lot of uh, disabled people. So. I was going to try to work both jobs if, uh, if the hours you know, if they don't conflict each other. You know. A year from now, I'm I'm c hoping to get back in the coal mines, but uh, if I don't, I'll try to go back to school. Maybe go into something like health care or something, some kind of, uh, not really nursing, maybe, um, I don't know, radiology or anesthesia or something like it. And yeah, it's always on my mind doing something different. He's a big basketball fan. Yeah, he plays a center most of the time. He's about the tallest one in his class. Yeah, he's, he's a good kid. I'd like to show him to be a hard worker and uh, you know, don't never give up on what you want to be.